my name is Ramesh and I have a passion to photography. I picked up photography when I was in school and I started with a box camera which had very limited controls. And despite a my serious hobby then was photography. But after I started work, I didn't have much of a time and I, I in fact I moved away from photography. Ten years back I, I took that up as a I took I went back to photography and I've been serious about it. So today I do a lot of street photography, landscapes and portraits. But it doesn't limit me to that. I enjoy experimenting and I do shoot micros and anything that I can get my hands on. But most of my photography during the last 3-4 years has been towards landscapes and uh, uh, street photography. I am also a member of the uh, Photographic Society of Madras, uh, which they call it as PSM. And PSM is an organization which was founded in 1867 and it's the second oldest organization in the world in terms of uh, photography organization. Uh, we have about uh, 300 members in Chennai and uh, it's a very active club. We meet uh, on the third uh, Saturdays of the month. I've been associated with uh, PSM since my school days and sometime way back in 1980. And I was also a secretary of uh, PSM about five, six years back. So I'm an active member of uh, PSM. Uh, PFSM is also the knowledge uh, partner of Picasso and uh, they will be helping them in conducting this photographic competition with the three themes and the three themes are shadows and highlight, nature and monochrome and uh, street photography. So we will be helping you and uh, taking you through as to what are the requirements and how do you go about it, what do you need in order to uh, shoot for these three themes and also give you some tips under these themes what to look for and uh, how to shoot. So let's take the first theme, which is street photography. The moment you step out of your home, everything that you see comes under the ambit of street photography. It's one of the most uncomplicated uh, forms of photography in the sense that you don't need any fancy equipment. It can be your mobile camera, it can be any camera that you have, and you start shooting when you get out. But it's it, it sounds easy, but when you actually look into it, it's, uh, it's not that... Uh, you see, in the sense that when you walk down the street, everything around you is, forms part of street photography. You have been walking on the street for the past so many years, but have you realized what is happening there? What is going around on the streets? And that's the most fascinating thing. Once you stop at a particular place and look around you, you see a whole world around you, which you have failed to see normally. Now, will you take your camera and let's say you sit in a spot, the first thing that you do is observe what is happening around you. Sit, let's take 30 minutes, sit around and see what is happening around you. You find that there's a shopkeeper here bargaining. You have you find someone there talking on his mobile, another person having animated conversation with his friend. The whole lot of life that you have failed to see before you got into street, street photography. So what what's the main thing that one looks at street photography. One is human emotions, the candidness of the people there, and uh, the people around you, the, uh, the the life around you. Apart from that, when I look into street photography and when I started, I started to document Chennai. So when I look at Chennai and street photography, what, what, what all can I think of? One, the festival which happens around Chennai, the markets, the uh, the happenings, the happenings. Let's say you go to a station. So there's so many, there's so much of life around a station or a market, and <clears throat> these are things that we normally see, but it doesn't register in your eyes. And that is all about street photography. When I say street photography, it's not just about people. There's so many other things that you can look around in street photography: the abstracts, colors, textures, patterns. Uh, the whole world is there for you and when I say street photography there's really no definition. When you look at for a definition of street photography, you really won't find a definition. Anything that is outside your home is a street photography. The only thing that is not part of street photography is, uh, what do you call it, okay, you can't have uh, wildlife as part of street photography. Professional performance is not street photography. If you find someone performing professionally in the streets and you photograph them. 
that is not classified as street photography. Apart from that, anything that is happening there comes as part of the good form of street photography. So, summarizing, get away from the fear of people, take as minimum equipment that you have blended with the crowd and start shooting. But the main thing is observe what is happening around you. And that requires patience. So happy shooting.